Hey, honey, this is Val. This is Val Cripps, and you're on my page, and I'm coming live with a message, a hot, fresh message coming through. If you're watching this, the replay, or if you're going to be able to join me live, I'll be waiting for everybody to come on now. Let me know. Let me know you're watching this, because I'm going to bring through the message, and then I'm going to pull the cards that confirm this is the message you need to hear today. So say hello. And then I'm going to bring through this powerful um, thing that came through for me today. So um, I hope you're having a kick-ass full moon. And isn't the full moon an amazing energy to bring through this kind of wisdom? So uh, I want to share something with you that, that came through for me today and is probably coming through for you. Say hello. Say hello. Hey, Deanna. And this is something that I think many of us do unknowingly for many years. And when we figure it out, we think we, we go, oh, of course, of course, that would hold me up. And we work our way through that. And then, even though we've worked our way through it, especially many people watching me are mindset masters and teach the most amazing principles and concepts of stretching beyond what you know and and allowing yourself to come into a place of power, which is what I do. I'm a guide to liberating you, activating you, and elevating you back to yourself. Because each of us is truly powerful and has magic within, but things happen that, that keep us from remembering that. So, hey, cuz, hey, Jessica, Deanna, check out this pillow that I got while we're waiting for people to join. Feel free to share this. Look at these pillows. Isn't this fun? Honey. So I want to talk about this because <clears throat> I did this for much of, much of my, like from the time I was a kid into my 20s and my 30s. And then um, when I started learning all the stuff that I really am deep into now that has really changed my life for the better and got me out of my mind and into my body and into my life so that I could actually live life that the way it feels great to me and, and be an effective human and cosmic participant. But this thing still comes up and it sneaks up on you, right? So let me see if I can share this to a couple places so we can get a couple more friends on here. And, and let me know if you're here or watching the replay. So, and thank you to all of you who have been um, commenting on my posts and loving and liking. Um, today I shared something really personal um, that many of us are sharing right now with this full moon. Um, you know, why I didn't report what happened to me and I shared and that uh, some of you may have noticed I still didn't share who did it and I'm not going to yet. I don't know. I don't know if that's important, but what is important is that you feel like you can speak up and most importantly, what's important to me and why I show up every day is so you can speak to yourself and you can speak to those in your family who you love and trust, but also might have an interesting dynamic with that shuts down parts of your being and in shutting down parts of your being you shut down your wellness and your health and your life and, and I was doing that and I don't want anybody to be doing that anymore so when you come to me um, we work through whatever it is that you're thinking you you can't or you won't and so this is the thing I'm going to talk about today is one of the things that keeps us locked in an idea that doesn't help us be who we want to be. So let me share this because I can't believe there's only one person on my live stream. Are you kidding me? All right. Of course, I've been going live on my page and I know that that is different to my business page. But let me pull this up and share this because I want to talk about this, this thing that happens. So I'm going to share this to my page. To my Valtopia business, Valtopia Studios business page. I'd love for you to join me. And you can also join me in my free group, Valtopia. Okay, and I want to I want to share this concept with you because it's powerful. Okay, all right. So I shared a couple places. That's all we can do. So listen, here's the thing that that I did. Uh, that threw me off so many times throughout my life. I had expectations of what should be. 
the way things should be. And this came through really strongly, especially, you know, I grew up in the, in the seventies and the eighties. And, um, you know, I grew up in a time when there were only three TV stations. So everybody was watching the same movies. Everybody was watching the same TV. We're all getting the program of the way things are, the way things should be, right? Are you with me? Who's with me? And say hello. I want to say hello to you. I see Charlotte, Sarah, Jessica was on. Has some few people. So we get this, we get fed a story through movies, through TV, through our church, through our government, through our parents of the way things should be. We hear stories from our family. We grow up knowing these stories, reading them. And little by little, we begin to judge our own experience based on what we think it should be. Oh, I should have been asked to the prom, or I should have a boyfriend by now, or I should be married by now, or I should have kids by now, or my kids should act like this, or I should dress and be like this. Or if I'm in the online business entrepreneur, I should be doing this. Can I get a, an amen or a witness? Who's watching with me? And the thing is, is even though I gave that up a long time ago, I found out I'm still doing it in certain places without realizing I'm doing it. It's so, um, it's something so ingrained in us to give away our power if we've been taught to submit or if we have that submission in our nature to appease or please or um, be easygoing or if we're extremely sensitive and we can feel other people probably because we've had things happen to us where we needed to be on extra alert and feel other people. Otherwise we didn't make it in our life experience. It can be really hard to detach from that need to please and connect to the comfort of others. And it's easier for us to suppress our own needs and make other people happy. So we might be boss mindset experts at this point and have worked through the people pleasing and have worked through the perfectionism and have, um, a thriving business supporting people around the world and shifting these viewpoints and we could still be buying in to this concept that someone else knows better than us and that we should be doing things a certain way even though we're pushing the boundaries and on the leading edge of innovation and creation and we're visionaries and we're doing the stuff where are you still doing that that's what I want to leave you with today and with that I'm gonna pull some cards to see how the cards back up what I'm saying, right? Am I missing comments here? Oh yeah, I am. Amen, Deanna. Hey, Ellen. Thank you. Hi, Amy. Okay, so this is this this is what's coming through on the other side of the moon. A journal prompt for you. A, um, I feel throat chakra opening with this. So I know that um, either those of you watching live or some of you watching the replay are going to be feeling an expansion with the energy coming through with this. Where are you still giving away your own? power because you think someone else knows better than you or you think they have more experience or more credentials or a bigger audience or a better this or that whatever it is in your life experience where you're still ready to just go I don't know and give it over to them because that's kind of how you were for so long and there's something inside of you that still is attached to the answer being outside of you and not trusting what's coming through you. Sure, you can get informed. Sure, you can read books and take courses and get certified and know what's out there. But in the end, there comes a point when we all have to remember, wait a minute, there is no should. There's no should about the way it is. There's what you see and then there's a continual regeneration and refreshment. We are organic living beings constantly evolving. There is no fucking should, all right? Can I get some hearts? I don't see the hearts. So let me put my, I want to see the video and see if I can see it on the, um, on my screen because th th this stuff slips by us. And this is the kind of work that, that I get into It's the kind of stuff that sneaks by us and we think we've figured it out and we think we're on our game and we uh, are guiding others to their brilliance. And when then little things sneak in where you're still allowing yourself to give away your power, you're still feeling unworthy, you're still doubting yourself. You're still giving it outside of yourself because that feels somehow more safe. 
and surely they have must know better or surely I should be making this by now or surely it should be this way there's no fucking should all right so let's see what the cards bring through oh and I'm seeing love the message that the answer is inside yes Amy the answer is inside definitely invest in guidance when you don't find the answer or you're limiting yourself from it it's not that you're blocked or broken or can't or won't it's that right now in the moment something isn't allowing you to see it or remember it you will remember it you will see it you will feel it you will know it it's there as you need to find it as you need to see it as you allow it to come in as you liberate activate and elevate into your highest being of your own knowing of it which allows you to take in the wisdom of others and be you know one with others and connected but also to know and and honor and own the frequency that is you and that's coming through you thank you Ellen Haley Hi, boo. and um, Amy says I love seeing you and have been so inspired by your post thank you Amy I really appreciate that I put all my heart and soul into what I'm doing I believe in it fully I'm I'm so I'm so celebrating my life that with the discoveries that have come through uh, and I can't stop shouting uh, about I'm not shouting but I'm here I'm standing up and I'm here my uh, door is open to those of you who resonate with my energy and my story and I'm sharing more and more of my story um, because they, the stuff I'm doing is working, honey. I'm reaching some new levels. I, I I thought I could only a year ago. Okay, so let's see what let's see what my fuck yeah deck, which you can get. Um, I'll put a link after. You can get yours, but I want to see if the cards totally. Of course, I'm always on point. If the cards are on point, I bring through the same message. So, just grounding in the energy. You can probably feel the energy running in your feet and tuning into the collective energy of everyone that will watch the replay anywhere this is shared the message will come through and open up and activate our own awareness to where we're giving away our shoulds and where we're giving away our power and where we're doubting our worthiness because we think it's outside of us okay and that we're separate from the all that is that we're separate from each other really right and that you weren't somehow um, meant to come and do and be and guide your collection of cells and, and essence that is you in this delightful meat suit that we have. All right, let's see what the cards say. Ha ha! Yes, we are the cosmos. Can I get a high five? All right. Um, yeah, Kitley says, hey, boy, fuck yeah, you're right. Thank you, Ellen. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, so yes, cosmos. Get some hearts. I'm gonna give myself some hearts. That's right, girl. You got it. So the next thing coming through, we're talking about giving away your power, doubting your worthiness. Drama, honey. Drama. When you sit around and say, this is so perfect. When I used to sit around in high school and cry or in my 20s and cry, it was so many shoulds involved. I should look like this. I should be this weight. I should have this by now. I should be having this kind of man by now I should 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 and I'd sit there and beat myself up because I'm an ambitious um, high-performing achieving person so the should was meant to motivate me but really what it was doing really what it was doing was tearing down my own space to take time to account what is what is and what was not sit around and mope about and make drama about what isn't not that. If you don't like what you see in the mirror, if you don't like the people you're hanging around, if you're pissed and tired of your life and you're sick of complaining, fucking do something about it. I had to. I got tired of sitting there complaining about my life. I got tired of thinking it should be some other way. You know what? It did need to be some other way. And I had to deal with that. Ooh, I feel a lot of energy shift in there. We can shit all over ourselves. Exactly. Right? All right, so let's see a couple more cards to bring through this message. Radiant. When you release attachment to the way it should be, your own beautiful radiance can come through, your own natural light, and you can have more fun and play in your life and enjoy who you are, right? Um, and let's see what else comes through. I love these cards. 
surrender, surrender to the gorgeousness that is you, the all that is us, and the the to the truth that is you do have the answer and you do know and you're allowed to seek guidance and then also come back each time and check in with yourself and say is this working for me someone's someone's really opening up with this i feel a lot of energy shifting right here all right create momentum allow yourself to really be in and of what feels good to you, the play and the surrender to your higher self, the surrender to that energy of yes, that keeps you motivated, right? So I'm gonna pull a question card and I want you to write into your journals or in, do your painting or your artwork or your coffee with yourself or your confessional when we do next the next Valtopia confessional. Did you guys watch Friday's live stream where we did confessionals? Go back and watch the live stream. I am gonna be editing it into smaller content because there were some juicy nuggets in there, honey. But <clears throat> think about these questions that I bring forward and come to my free group, Valtopia. It is quiet right now in there. It is a beautiful time for you to come in there and share these journal prompts and have me help in the community guide you back to yourself and out of the shoulds and out of the box. There's no reason for you to think you don't have time to take five minutes, 10 minutes a day to take a look in, at yourself and what's going on. Let's see what the comments say. Thank you, Rena. Thank you, honey. All right. So let's see what the question card is. And listen, if anybody's really like kind of stuck in a should situation, I am offering these $123 scenario sessions. It's an hour with me and we can break through a lot of BS, a lot of ideas, or we can sit and decide, okay, this is what's happening. And I'm telling you, everybody gets in there and thinks they know what the thing is and new stuff comes out. And we can figure out how to move through it. That's the idea is to create momentum and to allow for flow and to really enjoy um, What's on the other side of all the stuff that you think you can't do that's holding you back that you think well if only when i do this it's going to be better or only if i only have money it'll be better if i lose 10 pounds it'll be better if i um you know get that job it'll be it's better right now because you decide why am i celebrated right why am i celebrated why are we going to be celebrating you when you let go of the shoulds and really tune into your own magic and allow yourself to liberate, activate, and elevate into your best schnizzle ever? And like, I'm 48 years old and I'm, I'm looking better than ever. I'm feeling better than ever. And I'm having the best life experiences I've ever had because I'm actually able to enjoy them and they're really fucking rad. Okay, can I get a heart and star? I live here by Venice Beach. I ride my bike to the beach every day that I can. I have two beautiful children. Okay, so I had to get a divorce. That sucks really hard, and I hate breaking up my family. And I don't have everything planned out for the future. But I can tell you that I'm painting more, I'm loving more, I'm smiling more. And I talk to beautiful people every day around the world, paid and non-paid, who light the fuck up and get back to their business of enjoying their lives. Can you imagine if I was still 15 pounds overweight, miserable, thinking I might as well die because I'm just not doing what I'm meant to do. Fuck that. All right? So <laughs> I'm fired up today. And um, those of you who can appreciate this energy and know that I'm the one to rip off the Band-Aid and get you back to your business, that's what I'm here for. Okay? So I've got two places left in the Beta Empath. Um, you have until Tuesday to sign up on that. I extended it. Uh, it's a four-week one-on-one experience with me that's going to be offered four times the price that I'm offering it when it's finished, when we go through it and I glean the material. I would like your feedback and your testimonial. It's a very unique opportunity. I probably won't run it again. I'm also going to take the material and develop it into an online class. So you'll be able to buy that for much less or you'll be able to go deeper one-on-one -on -one with me on a higher level. But you can get this beta experience for $555, four weeks, two one-on-one -on -one sessions and daily access with me. I don't know why you'd miss this opportunity. I really don't. Especially if you're really drawn to me and know that I, I can light a fire under your ass and assuage your fears and give you a great hug and we can have a good laugh together too. Um, I have two spaces in my high level three month experiences and you can book in through you know, private messaging me anytime for the $123 scenario session where we can work it out. 
So um, Ellen says, I started my life over after divorce this past year. Fuck yeah. Yeah, girl. I love it. You know, it, it's it's a lot of us have had to go through it and nobody wants to to just to break up the should vision of our life that we wanted to have. But the, but, you know, let's just face the facts and deal with what is and then create new facts of reality for ourselves. Right. Because that's the truth. We're creating each and every moment of our lives every day that we choose to be conscious and aware of who we are and allow it to be um, however we decide, really. And I think that that the should thing is really blinding a lot of people to their own needs and desires and really their ability to flow in their life. I mean, come on, right? Um, so there we go. Wow. This this is a little disturbing, this little unicorn pillow. I, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Anyhow, thank you so much for joining me. And um, you know what? I don't have my kids today. I So if you want to connect with me right now, it would be a great time if you've been wanting to chat with me and find out what's going on. Book in for one of those sessions or private message me on um, here or in my Valtopia Studios page. And kind of quit shitting yourself. And even if you think you already know this, I want you to stop and really look like where you might still be doing it. Like I put sunscreen on before I went live and it's, I'm looking all kind of glowy, honey. Woo. All right. Who's here um, that just joined and wants me to say hi to him? Amy says we can shit all over ourselves. Melena. So um, don't do this to yourself. Don't do it. And let me know if this is something you're struggling with or you can't really see where you might be doing it to yourself and you think you know, but you don't. And I'll be back on next time it comes to me. Love you guys. Own your frequency, honey. There's nobody like you. Nobody. There's nobody like you. Get to it. Have a great day or night or evening or whatever it is, wherever you are.